radiation and bone metastases. This is one in a series of videos exploring radiation and the treatment of various cancer types. These are found on the website about cancer.com. Bone metastases are cancers that originate in another site and spread secondarily to the bone. The source of the cancer is called the primary. The anatomy in the spine can be quite complicated. And I have more detailed images of the spine, spinal cord and nerves on the website that help explain some of the symptoms. The source is called the primary. Usually lung, breast, and prostate are most common. The symptoms are commonly pain, usually at night, or symptoms related to a fracture or nerve pressure. The most common sites, ribs, spine, pelvis, and femurs, though any bone can be affected anywhere in the body. If the bone looks abnormally white, it's called osteoblastic. This is common with prostate. If the bone shows a black hole, it's called osteolytic. This is common for lung cancer. And breast cancer can be both blastic and osteolytic. Here's a picture of a lytic lesion, a black hole in the bone, and a blastic lesion abnormally white. The lytic lesions are more worrisome. They have created holes in the cortex of the bone. And there's a higher risk of invasion into the tissue around the bone or a fracture. If there's a large lesion or hole in the bone, such as the femur, the patient should have surgery prior to radiation. And similarly, in this case, a hole in the femur was pinned prior to radiation, avoiding a fracture. A nuclear medicine bone scan is a good way to find all the spots in the body. The newer sodium fluoride PET scans are even more sensitive and more accurate. A CT scan will often show the lesions here, blastic lesions or white lesions, and here lytic lesions in the left sacroiliac on a CAT scan. An MRI is a sensitive way to pick up bone lesions here on area in the humerus. Here an MRI shows bone destruction in the spine. And MRs are very good for looking at soft tissue like the spinal cord and the spinal nerves. Here we see the nerves being pinched on an MRI. PET scans are also very good because they show every bone in the body. Here a PET CT scan shows a tumor invading the left iliac bone or the right bone. And here a CT reconstruction on a radiation machine to target this mass. A typical radiation course is 10 treatments, can be, but can be as few as one treatment or as many as 25. The side effects are usually mild fatigue, local skin irritation, sometimes a lowered blood count, and sometimes the bone can be temporarily weaker before it gets stronger. This is why pinning may be required. The side effects depend also on the site in the body radiating to the neck, a sore throat, radiating to the chest, trouble swallowing, radiating to the abdomen, bowel, or bladder symptoms. The side effects uh, are mild. The response rate is high 80% of the time. The pain will improve. Complete relief in 54% of the time. Most patients respond within a week or two. Even short courses of treatment may work 60 to 70, 80% of the time though perhaps there are a higher need to retreat the patient if a short course is used. On average, about 20% of patients who are radiated need to be retreated, but the radiation often works well the second time around, 58% in this study. Not only do the symptoms go away, but the cancer is often destroyed. The x-rays will look better. The hot spot on the PET scan will slowly get colder. The bone mass pinching on the nerves will shrink away. The destroyed bone actually can regrow itself. Here we see destroyed bone growing back after seven months, more white bone. Here we see a large hole in the vertebrae obscuring the spinal cord. Two months after this was taken and after the radiation, enough bone grew back to see most of the vertebral anatomy. He still had pain, so we targeted the remaining tumor with highly targeted radiation, in this case a tomotherapy technique but cyber knife would have been an option. So in general, external or conventional radiation is often very useful for bone metastases with a high response rate and a low rate of side effects. More detailed information is on the website about cancer.com.